times. Hello. Glad to be talking to you here. I the trailer of Call Me Way looks so much fun, and I already love how uh, Bella says that I was born with a golden spoon, not a silver spoon. <laughs> Just so much fun. Tell me a little bit about uh, Bella and how similar or how different different is she from Ananya. Um, so, you know, I find this question really tough when people ask me to describe Bella because, you know, she's completely out of this world for me. As you said, we commonly hear born with a silver spoon, but she's taken it one step ahead and she's born with a golden spoon. So uh, that kind of, all, you know, already goes to show that she's a very hyper real character. She's an exaggerated version. I don't know anyone like Bella in real life. So she's definitely an exaggerated version. Um, she lives in her own, you know, bubble of privilege and her life. She's only known a certain thing in life. You know, she's grown up treated very differently from her brother because she's a girl so she's meant to be that perfect daughter and the perfect wife eventually and then you know she has to kind of move to Bombay and figure her life out and hustle so in that journey she I think truly finds herself and finds what she likes and doesn't like um, on the surface I think there are more differences in Bella than me um, you know as I said her entire journey is very very different uh, from uh, my life and my journey because I come from a very liberal home and I didn't have all these things that hey, you have to look like this or you have to go here or speak like this I never had that sort of thing in my life so trying to understand someone who um, experienced that since she was a baby was something new that I had to discover um, and in terms of similarities I think I, I don't know if it's similar but I really admire um, Bay's attitude towards life um, she's who she is very unapologetically and um, she uh, yeah she's not scared of judgment she's kind to everyone and she um, she doesn't judge people even though she may be so judged by everyone she comes across yeah absolutely um, uh, Call Me Bay also marks your uh, debut in the OTT format right it's like format, right it's like a different debut it's a different launch like you mentioned yeah. before. Uh, how is this different than this format different than shooting for a film because obviously you're shooting for a longer time here yeah. yeah I think like we shot for 50 days which I think is also how much people do shoot for a film so I think the shooting experience didn't feel as different or uh, from a film, I think personally for me, this is my biggest character in terms of screen time, in terms of things to do. So I had to be a lot more present and I had to be a lot more involved, um, which was different for me. But it also kind of made me feel like I've tasted blood now and I don't want to settle for anything less. Um, but also you get to explore a character a lot more when you're doing a series because you can really get into the depth of a character. You have a lot more time to take the audience on a journey with you, which was, which was really satisfying as an actor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, in a recent interview, your father said he hum log ghar mein zyada chagarte hai. This baat pe ki, you know, uh, why you're not doing commercial cinema? And you say he said ki, that. He's told everyone this also. Very good. <laughs> and and uh, and uh, he said that you will say in response that I'll do commercial cinema, but let me establish myself as an actor first. That's something you said to him. Uh, so my question to you is that. Um, like as an actor, are you consciously uh, hungry or are you consciously looking for projects that also, you know, uh, test you or test your craft and challenge you in ways that you haven't been before? Yeah, for sure. I feel like firstly, we live in a time right now, especially the past year where that formula is not working anymore. You know, people, audiences are going in to watch different stories and different kind of, um, you know, performances and something different that, you know, itne gaane karne hai, iske saath, uh, movie karne hai, none of that is working anymore. So as an actor, it's a very exciting time because you're completely solely going on what the story is. So I'm not thinking so much that this is commercial. This is not because no one knows. No one knows what is happening and what the audience is going to enjoy or not enjoy. So I think rather than thinking of the outcome, um, it's better to focus on the script and the character that you've got and then hope that, you know, it's a success commercially commercially or critically or wherever it's meant to go uh, but all I can think of right now is to just better myself as an actor and just grow from there and then whatever has to come will be a byproduct of your work.